got the uh, Hyundai Genesis again. What's going on with it now is the cigarette lighters are not working. All right, I've already been through a basic, basic test, but I'm going to show you what I did as far as testing everything. Uh, first things first, I'm using a test light right here. Um, I went and found a good connection going to a reliable ground source uh, where I went was down at the bottom and everything on this car is full of plastic so now I'm gonna, uh -oh, found the ground right there so I can keep the light on it long enough uh oh Making a mess here. Bear with me. Get your uh, test light. Make sure everything is working fine. I got the initial switch on, so I got power. And what I'm gonna do is stick it right down the middle. Be as precise as I can, not to hit anything on the outside. And I don't have any power. Um, I've tested my ground, which is gonna be the outside of the cigarette lighter and what it is um, I can do a resistance value from the ground here to chassis ground for like the same area and see if I get low ohms or you can go the easier route take your alligator clip clip it on the outside of there take your test light oh gosh it came out Put it back in there Clamped up there, and then just do the opposite. So you're testing for 12 volts now, and it's working. So we got good ground. We just don't have 12 volts. Let me show you where the fuse is going to. Hold on one second. Okay, I'm right back on the passenger side here. Um, where's my diagram? Okay, so I had a tough time finding this relay box because obviously this car got one, two, three, four, five fuse boxes. Um, put it this way this is going to be where the ACC relay is located. Uh, if you have any issues with your um, interior uh, cigarette lighters. So here's the ACC relay. I'm going to pull that out and we have the wiring schematics so we can check all of the necessary components to have a functioning cigarette lighter. So let me get everything loaded up. Right. Let me first to tell you I don't know everything. So, so from what we checked before when we checked the fuse inside the car this fuse was fine so we had power going there we had power going to the uh, power outlet so the only thing we don't know since we found the relay the ACC, oh, the ACC socket relay is if the power is being outputted out to the um, the uh, uh, cigarette lighter also if we have an adequate ground here so we're going to pull that relay and check and see if we have those necessary components to get a working cigarette lighter. Right, I'm going to cut the ignition switch on. Alright, let 
You want to find the sufficient ground. These are hot. You know what? Let's go ahead and get on the hot here. And I'm going to look for two hot, so two ground sources. So we got one ground here. Let me check for 12 volts. Make sure I'm hooked up properly. Two 12 volt sources. We have two. And we have one ground. Let me, let's go back to the wiring so we can show you. So, really quick. So with the key on this relay here, we check for two 12 volt sources. So our P out or the power outlet front and I guess this uh, well both power outlet fronts here, these two fuses are okay. So that answers that. So we found our two powers. We found one ground down here now this is going to be the source that's going out so what I want to do is safe well I'm going to cut the power off and um, just make sure I got just just for the hell of it I know I got a good ground more than likely I probably won't do that uh, so our ground was here on our ground, allegedly. This should just be on the safe side. How's I having back feed? So this should theoretically be our source. Something's clicking in here. Isn't it? Let me see what's clicking, because by this, by these schematics, this shouldn't be going to any other relay, unless, hmm, no, there's no reason why I shouldn't be getting back feed or anything either. Let me do a little more investigating. See where this clicking's coming from. Okay, so this is going to a power outlet front. So I'm, I'm strange that that, that relay, that diagram didn't show anything. Show this going to any other relay. Hmm, unless. Unless this is probably going to be something, but I mean, this it would show the complete circuit if there was like a connector. But this generally is going to be a connector number, a type of connector. I'll tell you what, I'm going to pull this relay out here. Let me see if this this one's uh, working like it's supposed to. I'm just gonna... It's clicking, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's working. I'm gonna swap this relay here with the, another one with the same number, and uh, see if we got operation of the of our cigarette lighter. So I swap these two, and I'm gonna go back in there and check if we see got see if we got any power. All right, went back in the car. There's still no power there. So I'm gonna, this is what I'm gonna do. We're gonna jump it. 
but uh, what I, how I'm going to jump it, I'm going to try to use my test light here and uh, hopefully I'll create a biased voltage. Leave that right there and take another test light and go in there and check. Okay, so sending biased voltage down, it didn't work. I'm, I'm going to have to take the wiring diagram and trust it because, again, these it doesn't make sense for me to send power through here and it's supposed to go straight to the uh, cigarette lighter. Especially being that it's not even in the diagram here. Tell you what, just to be safe, I'm going to pull the fuse that goes to the suspected relay just to confirm that I'm on the, in the right area. And if I don't, if I start losing power when the hot went on the ACC signals there, then I um, I know that I'm in the right area. Let me go pull that fuse. So I got the uh, fuse pulled. Let me check my. So I have two powers here. So what I'm gonna do is to then I even I pulled the proper fuse for the power for the front. Yeah, I pulled the uh, power front. So that's gonna be the uh, relay working with that fuse that sends the power out to the cigarette lighter. So just to be on the safe side before I end up trying to send any direct current, that's why I tried to send the bias voltage, it still didn't work. Um, I'm in the wrong spot, so, you know, mistakes are good, but as long as I didn't fuck up anything, so, which is great. So, I'm going to, it seemed like that relay stopped working. I'm gonna pull this back out and uh, put this relay back in. Mistakes are okay, as long as, I said, as long as we didn't screw up anything, so we don't have any power. Alright, now uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put that fuse back in there, and I should have power on two sides. You know, just like any other regular relay, you have a feed for the coil uh, to send, the, to create, to generate that magnetic field. You have a ground, that's generally going to be the signal, and you have a 12 volt constant that's going to supply voltage to the load. So let me put that fuse back in there and see what we got. Same fuse area, just a different angle. So this is the fuse I'm messing with. I'm going to get my ground hooked back up. Put the ground so you can see it. It's on the frame here. Test it. And so we got 12 volts. So this is this is fine. So it's before we didn't have 12 volts. So now we're on the right one. Now what I'm going to do with this one, I'm going to send my bias voltage out to the um, uh, load side here. So let me get on 12 volt side because I don't have 12 volts on either one of these. I'm supposed to have tw constant 12 volts. So I found the problem. But I'm just to be on the safe side. I'm going to send the bias voltage out through there. And now, when we go in there, I should have I should have voltage on my test meter. Uh, nope, not yet. So I'm not on the right one. Let me swap that there. Yep, there we go. Look at that. 12 volts. Awesome. So that's the thing when you send bias voltage.
you're not sending actual current just in case you have a short. If you had, a, if I was to actually have a short to ground, this light would have came on. So we're getting, we're making progress. Now, what I want to do, my August autofocus. So what I want to do now, since I know this is going to be what's going to the load, figure out why the hell this is not getting 12 volts. Now let me uh, go back to the wiring. What do I do with my phone? Find that cell phone. Okay, so. We know, look, we know there's no break here in the wiring. We sent bias voltage, so that's working out. Um, the fusible link going to the relay is questionable, so that hot at all times isn't there. Now, there's supposed to be a hot um when acc you're on let me turn the switch off and recheck just to be on the safe side so i'm going to turn the switch off all right got a switch off now let's see which what did i have going on because i had to switch on so now i don't have 12 volts so i have hot when on all right Push the switch twice. Come back on. So now the 12 volts, the light's back on. Alright, so. Alright, let's check this again. We have power, hot went on, or in ACC. So we're fine. The thing is, we don't have that constant 12 volts that needs to be right here okay so that's what we need to look for and that's gonna be uh, in here it should be in here great so one of these fuses are blown and this is gonna be the reason why we don't have constant 12 volts so let's we're already on ground let's get the check-in for the fuses voila there we go bam found it just like that. This gotta be a setup. <laughs> it was so complicated to find this, it was too easy. Alright, let me let me get a fuse. One second. Got my fuse here. Found a, found some laying around. Let's throw this in there. Got that pulled out. And we should be good to go. Take our test light. We should have illuminating. Oh yeah, we're good. We're good now. So let's put this relay in. And now our test light, not test light, but our multimeter should be saying 12 volts because I didn't change anything. It's not, but because I didn't have it sitting in the middle there. Bam, there we go. Should be good, man. Um, oh shit, I keep pressing the brakes and I don't even have any brakes on here. I don't even have a, oh gosh. I'm just so glad the piston didn't shoot out. Anyway, um, what did I learn today? That I need, what I learned today. You know, I mean, this, this was a long-winded version of finding a blown fuse nothing serious with the electrical stuff but I mean I'm not I don't know every single car and it you know hopefully my ignorance can generate a learning experience for somebody else but um, I just had an issue locating the fuse and the uh, relay box so that was my issue found it out and um, you know Went through some safe testing measures to ensure I was in the proper area and figure out what's going on. So, uh, I guess the, just to recap, you know, if you if you want to know where your fuse boxes are, you have one here. You have one on the side over there. 
one on the other side, the passenger side, and then one in the back. There is supposed to be another one in the area. I think it's going to be around this area here. But um, this is the hidden one I wound up finding. You know, it's a lot of plastic and stuff on this car. So, but other than that, um, if anybody else have their itch, have any issues with the cigarette lighter, you know what to go through, you know what to check. Um, you know, I hate that this took like 40 minutes to find a blown fuse, but to my ignorance, I was incapable of locating this fuse box. So, and it was just my inability to comprehend. So, found it and uh, got a blown fuse repaired. Um, she got her cigarette lights working again after the charger phones. Alright, um, I'm gonna finish this brake job. Peace.